Hi, this is Jeff with Mosquito Max and in this segment we're going to show you how to design a mosquito misting system to uh, it'll help you generate a parts list. So what we've done here is we've uh, made a sketch of a home, a typical uh, backyard and home. Um, it's about 60 foot across so when you draw your map you don't have to be exact but you need to know uh, your distances because usually we space our nozzles uh, usually every 8 to 10 feet or so. So, uh, what I'm going to do, the first thing you need to do is identify uh, where your power and water is because that is where you're going to install your machine. So I'm going to draw an M there with a little circle on it and uh, that is going to be where we're going to install uh, our misting system. Uh, then I'm just going to draw some X's, okay, uh, basically where uh, I'm going to have nozzles. So I'm going to just go ahead and draw here, X here, here, you know, and basically these are, you know, going to be in the 8 to 10 foot range, okay. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end it right here because I don't want to go underground. Okay, if I keep going this way, I'm going to have to go underground because this is a gate. This is where your gate is. And so I'm just going to end it here. Uh, then I'm going to go the other direction. And uh, let's see, uh, I'll put, I'm just probably going to run a nozzle here, and here, here. And this is probably 80 feet or so, so eight nozzles. perimeter and this is also going to be an end okay all right now here is going to be a flower bed that's got some heavy foliage in it and uh, these nozzles are going to be so far away you're not going to get some drift or flow into this bed so what we're going to do is we're going to put some risers in here which are fixed sprinkler head type nozzles and I'm going to just going to put an R and an R in here okay and I'll explain how we get there in a minute Okay, first thing you're going to do is you're going to mount your equipment and, uh, and then you're going to bring your, your line out of your machine and you're going to come up to your eave here and you're going to install a T, a union T. And, uh, and that's going to allow you to go two directions. You're going to be able to go this way and you're going to be able to go this way. So uh, if we're going this way, we're going we're gonna to put in a T nozzle and then the line continues this way. Okay, so T nozzle, T nozzle, T nozzle, T nozzle. Same thing, same thing. Just T nozzle, T nozzle, T nozzle. Go all the way to here, and then the last nozzle in the run is going to be an elbow nozzle assembly. Okay, and the rest of them are all T nozzle assemblies. Okay, now at this point right here, whatever the short, shortest distance is, you're going to install another Union T. Okay, and you can do that after you've made all this run. But anyway, you, you'll cut the line, cut your tubing and install a Union T, and then you're going to run a buried line over here through your grass or whatever into, you're going to connect it to this riser, which risers are, are ambidextrous. They have T's on the bottoms of them. Uh, but they come with plugs, so you can make each riser either a, an end or a T uh, ri a riser. So the first one's going to be a T riser, and then of course the line is going to be buried, and then this is going to be an L end riser, okay, because you're going to put a plug in the T. So that's where you're going to end it. All right, so uh, we finished that particular run and done your risers. Now uh, we're going to go this direction. So you've got T nozzle assembly, T nozzle assembly. Well, here's your covered patio sitting area, and of course you've got a pool area here with hard surface. You've got decorative stone here, let's say, or pool deck. In this case, we like to put what are called Hago nozzles, Hago T nozzle assemblies in this particular case because they have stiffer springs on them and they will not uh, allow the pressure to bleed off. All of these other smaller nozzles, when the system shuts off, you're going to get a little bit of after spray, minor, minor bit of dripping, you know, uh, less than a minute or whatever. But over time, that little bit of 
small miniature minuscule dripping uh, could cause staining over a uh, you know decorative light colored stone or pool deck so we usually install Hago nozzle assemblies here so these are going to be Hago T nozzle assemblies in this area so you're going to have one two three four five of those all right so now we're just going to count our stuff so we just counted the Hago T nozzle assembly so you have five of those we're going to go over and here's your parts list so you're going to need five Hago T nozzle assemblies okay now we're going to count the T nozzle assemblies uh, so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So there's going to be 24 T nozzle assemblies and we're going to uh, count our elbow nozzle assemblies where we end the run. So there's going to be an end of the run here and an end of the run here. So that would be two. So two elbow nozzle assemblies. Um, riser nozzles. Um, we're going to end up with two kits. Okay, one of them we're going to uh, use as a T nozzle, a T riser assembly, and one of them we're going to put a plug in and use that as an elbow riser assembly. So that's two riser assemblies. Uh, union T's. Uh, this is where you make one line two. You expand the line into two, uh, and uh, so you're going to need one here uh, at this uh, juncture to go this way and this way, and you're going to need one here. Uh, so you can continue this run this way, make a new line over here. So you need two Union T's. You're going to need one roll of tubing. It's a 500 foot reel. Uh, I would highly recommend using black in, in, in all of the uh, thing, things you use, your, your tubing, etc. You can paint it if you, you know, really want to blend it in with the paint on your home, but it's much more UV compatible than any of the other colors. The other colors don't really stay true to color anyway after sunlight hits them for a number of years. Uh, okay, the other things you would need for installation are clamps, little C clamps uh, that you would use for your tube. You'd need one of those, 100, 100 pieces per bag, and you need 100 of the uh, bigger clamps that you would use for your nozzles. You're going to need one machine, and you're going to need one chemical. The only other uh, tool you would need from us would be a tube cutter. I would highly recommend you get a tube cutter so you can make a nice square cut on your tubing. Thank you very much.